All right, Virgo, so you have the uh, Strength, Five of Cups, and the Star card. So you have both Leo energy and Aquarius energy, but this isn't necessarily really you. This is more so about other people's approach to you, really, because what it's about is um, other people wanting to hang out with you, but they want you ultimately to chase up after them. They want you to see through the games that they're doing, all of this obstacle course stuff, to see through what it is that they're doing, right? To play the game and to somehow be the Macalicious or the Macadocious or, or, or the Mac, you know what I mean? And cut through the games and, and have a pre-planned uh, response for all the stuff that they're doing and try harder and cut through to the games, right? And the Five of Cups and the Star card represents the point that I'm trying to prove. Because even with just these three cards, the strength represent on the outside, they look bold. They're doing all of this type of nonsense, right? All of this type of stuff. But then, but then on the inside, you have the Five of Cups and the Star card. They want you to talk to them. They hope that you do, right? They want to, to begin to talk to you and get to know you problem is on the outside they're giving you a difficult time so again a lot of these games that people play ultimately is nihilistic because they so worried about trying to act like a boss a boss uh, you know to the point where it makes it look stupid because what are they doing right and with all of this confusion, why don't they just go up to the person that they do want, which is you at the moment, and just talk straight to you? Because they're, but no, they're expecting you to pick up the slack for their confusion and them being all over the place. But that doesn't even make any sense because they're confused by definition. Somebody approaching them is just going to make them more confused. Why can't they make up their own mind and approach you straightforward so that you, Virgos, and them? can can actually work something out but this is the level of confusion and stupidity so they're not going to do that they're not going to do that they're going to want you to, to like them right and see past through the games but contrary to popular belief you have the hangman and the queen of wands a lot of you virgos got a lot of stuff going on and and a lot of Virgos may not necessarily have time for a relationship right now. I know personally, I got a lot of stuff going on as a Virgo in my own personal life. I got a lot of serious situations going on. You know what I mean? And, 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 and again, you know, this idea that sometimes people have where it's like they automatically assume sometimes or they try to project that somehow, you know, you know, like a basketball project somehow, or, you know, like a free throw that you're not busy or you don't got anything else going on. That's completely not true. My life always has something going on. And I am the one that has to calm down the chaos because my life always has got something going on with it. So, you know, that's, that's part of what it takes in order to be a leader or a king or whatever the case may be. The idea that heavy lies the head that wears the crown, right? So a lot of people don't really understand. We're not going to tell them that we got a lot of stuff going on, you know? And like it is, I said before, from the hangman to the queen of wands, we're waiting for it to be over, but we got a lot of stuff going on. And the judgment represents we ultimately don't have time for people that want that make it more difficult by trying to get us on our nerves and trying to hide certain things and play certain games and do types of stupid stuff the hermit represents because um the hermit is about them and that they still willing to play this they're still haven't figured it out and normal and the thing is that the hermit represents a virgo but or the or Virgos in the major arcana, but it represents them in the sense that they have not. It, it's like that story of the cave where they don't see the bigger picture of they're wasting their own time trying to trying to 
not speak up. They're not speaking up. They're not approaching you. They're not handling their business. They're not doing the things that they need to do. And the thing is that you Virgos got a lot going on. Like I said, got a lot going on. And I'm sure a lot of you other Virgos have a lot going on. And this is not some reverse psychology type stuff. Over here in New York City, the city right now is on high alert because some individual went into a police station and popped up the place. You know what I'm saying? So the whole city right now is on high alert. Helicopters all over the place. Anybody who's in New York City knows what I'm talking about. Helicopters is everywhere. The block is hot. And I'm not even on the block, but I hear helicopters morning, noon, and night now. Not to mention, not to mention, I got some family issues going on. Not anything as far as arguing or any of that type of stuff. And I'm sure a lot of you Virgos got some issues going on too, or things that you need to resolve, right? So the thing about it is, this is what I'm talking about. The idea that people think that you should, like you have the time to play this game because of their, their cowardice, because that's what it is. They scared to say something. They don't even want to try. So they want to they want to leverage it. They want to act like they're topping from they're topping from the bottom. They want to act like they're bosses to cover up the fact that they scared to come over and say something to you. But you Virgos don't care about that. You don't have time to care about that because there's a lot of stuff going on. So the hermit, <laughs> the hermit and the hierophant now is about how um, the hermit and the hierophant now is about how uh, so. Um, the, the Hierophant is you, and it represents you've got your own stuff that you are handling. You know, and if those people can't make themselves a part of your life and put in an effort, then it is what it is. You're listening to, you're solving the problems that you Virgos need to handle to make sure that your house is in order, right? The, 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 chariot, the chariot now and the Knight of Swords, you got a lot of people who are going to be upset at you and not say anything because of the fact that you're not paying attention to, to them. So right now is is they they really need to come clean and they really need to just be more straightforward with what it is that they want. But what it is is for you uh Virgos the way that it's going to come off is going to come off like they're being disrespectful or combative or they're ignoring you or you know what I mean? They're, they're not saying anything to you at all. But in actuality, what it is, is, is that you got, a, like I said, you have a lot of stuff going on. So you don't really care to talk to other people too like that, you know? And you know, when it comes to us Virgos, when it rains, it pours. When one problem comes, it, it doesn't just show up just as one problem. It usually manifests itself as many problems like an octopus or a squid that tentacles out. And now we got to solve all these different problems all at once. We got a ton load of problems and the problems compile or compound and stack up on each other. So a lot of people want to talk to us. It's just that we got our own stuff going on. And we're usually, us as Virgos, we're usually busy bodies anyway. We're usually trying to figure out ways to keep our mind from being bored in the first place. So we end up staying busy. So let's clarify the uh, the judgment. The devil, that's an interesting card. King of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Wands. The devil represents them. The king of cups represents us. How we're just not willing. A lot of us Virgos are, are not really willing to be in a relationship just yet until we actually become clear from our own personal problems that we're trying to solve right now. The seven of cups and the, and the five of wands is about how, since that's the case, um, A lot of people are not going to like that because they obviously want to be a part of our lives. But the problem is we can't afford to make them a part of um, a part of our lives just yet 
because number one, they playing games. You know, they 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 got to stop that. And num, you know, if they're gonna be in our lives, and number two, it's not the time right now because, like I said, we got a lot of stuff that we need to handle. So the thing about it is, they you know they've already shown a lot of us Virgos why they are a liability and not an asset. They're not gonna add value they're not going to add or contribute what we want to our lives right they're not going to raise the quality of our lives they'll try to they'll bring it down because of their fear and that's part of the reason why a lot of people don't do the approaching in the first place too a lot of that stuff is from fear but that fear is is getting y'all because when you so afraid you're not getting anything done so now it's like okay you 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 afraid to talk to me, but then the way that it come off, you want to act like you a tough guy on either side, right? So now it's like, okay, act like that, but now you've turned off the other person. You switched them off. So now that you now that you switched them off, now it's like, oh, okay, you you were a jerk to the person because all of that because you were afraid to talk to them. So you set yourself behind the eight ball even further. So let's clarify the, the chariot. Matter of fact, let's clarify the hermit just to kind of. You have the four of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the tower, and then you have the wheel of fortune. Could be a cancer crab, could be a Scorpio, could be a Capricorn. Could be another Virgo. Doesn't necessarily. It could be any zodiac sign. But the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles represents this person wants something long term with you. And they see you as being guarded. But again, if they want to be with you so much, how come they can't be the one to actually let you know something? But this just speaks to the level of fear that they have, right? Because they see a lot of you of Virgos as intimidating. 